Welcome back. I hope you were able to run the npx create react app command successfully. If you face any errors, feel free to mention it in the comments. I will try my best to help you resolve that. So let's get started. Let's go into the pokedex directory and then open it in the VS code. If you use any other text editor, it's completely fine. I prefer using VS code. It's a personal choice. Awesome. So let's do one more thing. Let's open it in our web browser. Let's start the create react app using npm start. By the time it gets started, let's also delete the things that we are not going to use. For example, app.css, um, app.tsx, app.index.css and all of this. So we are just going to use the index.tsx and by now, I hope you would be very, very clear about what index.tsx do, about what is react-dom.render and how are we using this. So I hope this will be very clear to you. If it's not clear, it um, just rewatch the first and second projects. It will be very, very clear. Awesome. So now we have our create react app running. So you will see a little bit of difference from the previous applications. So from the previous applications, you must have noticed that we used to have dot JSX files. We used to have dot JS files instead here now we have dot ts and dot tsx file it's very simple ts stands for typescript so whatever you can do using javascript you can do using typescript as well more information about typescript i am going to tell you in the later sections of this tutorial so let's get started in this video, let's quickly make our parent component, which is going to be the Pokédex component. So very simple. Let's delete everything that we have here currently. App.css, app.test.txx, app.tsx and index.css. We can safely delete that and we can also delete other things as well very easily. So in the index.tsx, now you are going to see a few errors you can easily uh, delete them and yes this is also good to be deleted awesome let's as the previous projects let's create a components directory i hope i spelled it right yes components awesome let's create a new component our first component which is going to be the app component inside the app component let's add app.tsx and app.css as well app.css so first i am going to create a class based component app.tsx is going to be a class based component import react from react and i'm going to create a class app extends um let's call it react.component and here i am going to create my render method which is going to have uh, this is going to return a simple div let's let's write down pokedex inside it awesome and let's export this app as well export default app as simple as that and now all we need to do is import it from here awesome let's check whether it's building correctly or not it's building perfectly so let's end this video a little bit here to keep it short now we have our boilerplate a quick boilerplate app.tsx and index.tsx ready let's do one more thing let's import our app.css um, app.css and let's also do one thing let's um, give a background color to our body let's say anything we'll change it afterwards but for now let's try it out yes it's working so now we have a quick boilerplate ready and from the next video let's start making various components of our application see you in the next video if you have any doubts still here feel free to mention it in the comments a quick recap all we did till now is nothing but 
refactor our components so it already had app.tsx i just deleted everything created a components directory and inside the components directory i created an app folder inside my app folder i created a app.tsx where i have just created a div with, uh, which has pokitex nothing more nothing less as simple as that so see you in the next video where we are going to start styling our application bye bye